Hello, hello. Welcome to another pre-recorded Farm Girl Friday. This will be the last pre-recorded one. I'll be back live next Friday. Today I'm going to be making some cinnamon buns using the Farm Girl low carb pastry mix. Okay, so this is an awesome blend that um, you can use for pretty much any pastry recipe. You could also probably make this with the bread loaf mix as well. They work pretty similarly. There's just a little bit less gluten in the flour, uh, the pastry flour. So an option if you have the, um, the bread loaf mix, you could use the same quantity and it should turn out pretty good. Okay, so I've already made the dough in advance just be, to save some time here. So it's basically like any of the other doughs I've made, like the pizza dough and stuff like that. Um, you take some warm water with the yeast and a bit of maple syrup or honey, let that sit for five minutes. I use, use traditional yeast in this. Um, you could also use quick rise yeast if you wanna add it to the dry ingredients. Um, then after that, sat for a little bit, some whipping cream, some 35% cream went into here with the water, um, three cups of the Farm Girl low carb pastry mix, some salt, and um, what else, Just make sure, some melted butter, and then I mix that up and let that knead, also an egg, and then turn that into a dough. Okay, so all of the um, full recipe will be in the description of the video, so you can check that out, um, and I'll give a description of how to make the dough and everything like that, but, so this is proof for about an hour, it's doubled in size, so 45 minutes to, you know, to just over an hour roughly is how long it'll take, depending on how warm your kitchen is. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll this out, okay? So I'm gonna use some of the Farm Girl pastry flour, and just, I'm gonna dust my counter here, so I'll just bring it down so you can see what I'm doing. So it's not too heavily, you don't want a ton of flour underneath this, but enough to um, prevent it from sticking to your work surface, okay? So a nice clean work surface. And then some flour, we're gonna roll this into a big rectangle. That's the goal here. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'll keep a little bit of flour to put on top as well. So I oiled my bowl when I put the, the um, dough into there. Before I start rolling it, I'm gonna kind of roughly shape it into a rectangle. It'll just help us um, get a rectangle when I go to roll it out. If you start from around, it's a lot harder to get a rectangle shape. So it's kind of roughly yourself like a rectangle-ish, okay, like that. Add a bit more flour on top so we don't get sticking to the rolling pin. And then you wanna roll it out, it's probably gonna be about a foot and a half, like 18 inches by I don't know, 12 inches, something like that. It doesn't really matter the exact dimensions of it. Um, we're gonna cut, we're gonna make six cinnamon buns with this recipe, okay? So just keeping that in mind as you go here. You want enough width to roll, um, roll up the cinnamon buns, but you also want it to be long enough that you'll get six, okay? So then again, you can kind of just keep forming it back into a rectangle if you end up with an oval. It doesn't have to be a perfect rectangle. So that should be good for six in that, sh in that direction. I'm just gonna get this a little bit wider now. You don't want it too thin, but you want it wide enough that you're gonna get that nice spiral of cinnamon inside, okay? So you can also just stretch it with your hands a little bit. Just like that. This is looking good. Okay, I'll brush off any excess flour off the top. And what I have here is um, a quarter cup of salted butter. So I'm just gonna grab a little spatula and we will spread this butter out on top of the dough. Um, it can be unsalted butter. I would just sprinkle a little bit of salt on top of it. Um, it does just make it taste a bit better. <coughs> I'm at the end of a cold, so if I'm coughing a little bit, I do apologize in advance. Just got back from Iceland yesterday, which was awesome, but came back with a little cold. I might edit out some of the coughing, so <laughs> if there's silence all of a sudden, that might be what happened. Okay, so I'm gonna spread the butter out. I'm just gonna leave a little lip at the top here um, to help get the, um, the edge to seal up a little bit better. Looking good. Try to get as even of a layer as you can. You can go right to the ends. You just want to leave that lip along the top for the rolling part. Okay, just like that. Don't want to waste any butter. Okay, and the next thing we're going to do here, so I've got a quarter cup. Um, this is like a granulated, um, low carb brown sugar. You could use any sweetener you want here. The brown sugar is gonna give a little bit more, like normally cinnamon buns do have a brown sugar inside. 
So if you have the option, use a brown sugar, um, low carb sweetener. But uh, if not, like this is like a golden um, erythritol monk fruit mix. Okay, and it, de it depends how sweet you want it to be. So like this is a quarter cup. You can put the whole quarter cup in here. I might actually pull a little bit back just because I don't like it to be super sweet, which is nice. And if you also don't want a ton of erythritol, because most of the granulated brown sugars are gonna be erythritol based, so. Okay, so just get an even coating of the sugar there. Yeah, I'm gonna save this like, it's just a little bit. I feel like it's a little bit much. Quarter cup will work. I like these a little bit less sweet. You can also do more if you want more. A, a regular batch of cinnamon buns sometimes even calls for like a cup of sugar, which is so much, but they're gooey and delicious, okay? So that's um the quarter cup, just a little under a quarter cup. Now I've got um, a tablespoon of cinnamon, so I'm gonna sprinkle that over the surface. You can't have too much cinnamon in a cinnamon bun, in my opinion. So be liberal with the amount of cinnamon if you want. Again, like this is kind of, this part here, I'll have quantities in the recipe, but by all means, if you want more or less of something, go for it. All right, so we've got all of that in there right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll it up. It's gonna start by kind of folding over one end. And then I'll go from there just little by little. And if you have a bunch of flour on the outside of it, just kind of brush it off as you go. It's just kind of rolling this up into a big tube. Right, you can stretch the ends out if they're not rectangular. It's okay. Okay, and then once you get that, you can, again, just using your hands, kind of even it out. So if you find that the ends are a little bit thinner than the center, just kind of squish that around and even it out. It's not an exact science, cinnamon buns. All right, then I'll cut it in half first. It's easier to get equal amount, so I'll cut that in half, like that. Okay, and then we need to cut each one of these into three, roughly, okay? And they don't have to be exact, you don't have to use a scale or anything, but more or less even, if possible. Like that. And I've got here a, um, a baking pan, like a square uh, baking pan that I've lined with some parchment paper. Okay, so we'll transfer these over, do three and three. It's kind of, as you put them in, be careful. You might start to lose some of that brown sugar. If you do, you just kind of sprinkle it back in. You can press them down. You see on the camera? Yeah, so we're gonna press them down a little bit. They will rise out a little bit as well. You might actually wanna turn them once you get over the pan as well, just to avoid the brown sugar spilling out. So I'm gonna press them down. They will proof a little bit more as they, um, we're gonna let these rise for a little bit, so. The one nice thing about not doing these live is I can just edit it out. I don't have to make a extra batch that's already proofed. So I'm just picking up that extra brown sugar. And again, just kind of separating the layers a little bit as you press them down. I can bring it on the camera a bit better. So you can kind of like press them down. I'll show you with this one. See, they kind of stick together sometimes as they, um, once you cut them. So if you separate that and then just gently press them down in place. Okay, and I'll set this aside. I'm just gonna clean my counter. We'll let these rise, and again, if you if you spilled some brown sugar out, don't be afraid to just kind of drizzle in the bottom of the pan. It just makes that gooey, brown sugary goodness at the bottom. I'm just like sprinkling it around. Not on top, I would say, is probably not the best option with the extra sugar, but just around the bottom, and it'll kind of mix in to make that gooey base to the cinnamon bun that we all love. Okay, so just like that, I'll set these aside. Just gonna give a wipe to my counter here. And then I'm just gonna put these on top of the oven. So I'll let them sit in a warm place. Um, we want, you know, you want it to be a little bit warmer than room temperature if possible, but definitely not in a cool place because they will take forever to rise. Especially when we're working with these, the farm girl flowers, because they don't have as much, very, very little actually starch in them, right? Like a, the yeast actually feeds off the starch in the wheat normally. Um, so let's turn it back up. So when you're working with these farm girl flowers, they do take a little bit longer to rise sometimes. So the, the warmer temperature does help to um, speed up that process. So I'm just going to now um, let these proof. I will start the video back up once they've proofed. Okay, so we'll come back in a little bit and I will show you what they look like. And yeah, it's gonna be good. See you in a sec. Okay, so these have risen for about half an hour now. And they've maybe not fully doubled in size, but they got a little bit more puffy. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I've got some 
cream here. You want some, you can take whipping cream. This can also be table cream, whichever one you use in the dough. Um, it doesn't have to be whipping cream in the dough. It can be heavy cream as well, like, or I'm sorry, table cream as well. This is not ice cold out of the fridge. You wanna make sure it's not freezing cold. You can warm it up a little bit, like pop it in the microwave for like 15 seconds or something. It shouldn't be hot though, okay? I'm just gonna pour this over. I'm gonna cover the top of all the cinnamon buns. It will pool up in the bottom. That's gonna give that kind of gooey texture at the bottom. Okay, I'm just like move that around. So then I'm gonna pop these in an oven at 375 Fahrenheit and they'll bake. It depends on how big you made them. You could make smaller ones if you want to, like the different sizes that you put into the pan. You could make like eight smaller ones and put them in here. Um, it should be about 20, 25 minutes, something like that. You should check them at 20 and just see how brown they are. But um, I'll pop them in the oven and I'll show you what they look when they come out. cinnamon rolls. They look so good. They're still bubbling. I'm just going to set these aside and we will make some cream cheese frosting. Okay. So in my opinion, you can't have cinnamon rolls without cream cheese frosting. Um, cream cheese frosting can be keto friendly, of course, when we're using the right sweetener. So I'm just going to get a bowl here. Bring it down. All right. So I'm going to put it into the bowl. I've got one block of um, regular cream cheese, as well as a third of a cup of um, salted butter. Sorry, unsalted butter. The salted and the unsalted is really personal preference. It's not that big of a deal. There's, there's plenty of salt in the cream cheese, so it's not gonna be um, terrible if you don't have salted butter for this part, okay? And I'm just gonna beat this until we get everything together nice and Homogenous. Let's just set this here. Oh, helps when you plug in your hand mixer. So there's no more lumps of cream cheese in there. I'm just going to scrape down the sides. This will make a lot of cream cheese frosting. I personally love cream cheese frosting. Um, you could half the recipe if you don't want quite as much. smooth and I'm going to add in a third of a cup to half a cup depending on how sweet you want it of a powdered um, low-carb sweetener so in a, like an icing sugar as well as one teaspoon of vanilla extracts and we'll just blend that up if you want to, of course. So one thing I should have said earlier, when you're making these, it's really important, um, well, it's up to you, but using a good quality cinnamon is gonna make all the difference with a cinnamon bun. So most of the cinnamon <clears throat> that you buy at the grocery store in North America is actually something called cassia bark. We're actually one of the only places in the world where they can sell cassia bark and call it cinnamon. So if you're looking for um, a good like Ceylon or Saigon cinnamon, I'll put this in the notes of the recipe as well, um, which is gonna give that really delicious flavor. So that's one of the secrets of, of Cinnabon, if you know the chain of cinnamon bun restaurants called Cinnabon. 
they, um, I'm sure everybody does, they, uh, they use a really good quality cinnamon, which not just gives off that amazing smell when they're cooking and draws you into the store, but it's actually what makes them taste so delicious as well. So just be aware of that. Cassia bark is a lot more like um, spicy. It's almost like a medicinal flavor to it, whereas the good quality Saigon or um, Ceylon cinnamon, normally like from Sri Lanka or something, the Ceylon stuff is, is really, really delicious. And it's got like a sweetness to it, natural sweetness. So this is ready to go. What is not ready is the cinnamon buns because they're too hot to ice yet. So basically, you just put the cream cheese frosting on top of the cinnamon buns once they've cooled down a bit, okay? So that is cinnamon buns using the Farm Girl Low Carb Pastry Mix, okay? I will be back next week, live again at 12 p.m. Eastern time for Farm Girl Fridays. Have an awesome rest of your day. And please like the video, comment, let me know if you make these. I always love to know and see your, um, your videos or your pictures whenever you make these recipes, okay? So have an awesome day. I will see you soon. Bye.